My name is Weta Brown. I'm originally from Brookhaven, Mississippi, but I've been in Chicago for 11 years. I remember vaguely like stuff from my childhood. I remember my parents teaching me how to ride on the train of wheels in the time when no one wore helmets. Um, I remember my when they dancing off of the train of wheels. I remember this weird incident while being chased by a dog. Um, it scared the mess out of me. I fell and skinned up my hands, and I could still have a scar on my ankle where, like, the, the little the pedal skinned me. I moved a lot. I'm Army Brett. So we moved, like, every two or three years, and then when I turned eight, we moved to Mississippi, and I grew up there. That's where both my parents were from. Um, when I moved here, I started cycling on the lakefront. Like, I, had, I bought a hybrid. I remember my last bike before the hybrid was, like, a Kmart 10-speed bike. Um, and then when I got my hybrid, I thought that was it, man. So we should just ride on the lakefront like every now and then with some people I skied with. And then um, I started doing triathlons. So I had to upgrade to actually like a road bike and learn how to cycle for real to, to compete in the race. So I bought a bike actually off of Facebook. Um, but I went to all the cycling shops to look for the bike that I wanted to get the size um, and the perfect fit. And it's like, I saw it on like Facebook Marketplace. So I'm like, it's meant for me to have this bike. And it was like half the price of the retail price in the store. So I bought that bike. Uh, that was my first bike that I have now. So I got that bike and I joined Major Taylor and I started cycling. I had to learn how to swim and then um, started doing triathlons. I started taking swim lessons in 2017. I did my first triathlon in 18. It's depend on the race. It's like a second job with all the training because it's three sports in one. I've had four knee surgeries, mainly skiing and running. Um, and what else? I had issues with saddle sores. One got so bad I had to actually go see somebody with turns of abscess because um, I'm stubborn and I would, didn't stop cycling. It was like my birthday and I wanted to ride 100 miles. I think I rode 70 miles. It was hurting from the first pedal stroke. But I did a seven and I was gonna do um, like this night ride. It was 75 I did in the morning. And 25 at night so I could do 100 miles on my birthday. But somebody stole my, so many stole my car so I couldn't get out to the area where <laughs> we were supposed to do the night ride. So I didn't do that, which is probably good because um, then I went kayaking the next day and it kind of got into the area and it was a hot mess. Anytime I get a little bump or something, I, um, I go to see my dermatologist and then I always use camo and then I got rid of, I, I know it's controversial what causes them was ingrown hair, it's just a friction. So I got rid of all the hair just to make sure that it wasn't that friction. So um, I have a little routine. I use always use cleanse, like hip cleanse if when I take a shower every day. So especially after I cycle. So I make sure I take my cycling shorts off right after I cycle. Well, I enjoy it even though some, like some of them long rides, like, 50, 60, and some of the, the trying to keep up with people not getting dropped. Sometimes it's a lot, but I, I enjoy it. And it's like a part of my life, it's even some kind of activity. I can't just sit around. So it's, it's fun, it's something to do. It's in Chicago, we only get so much outside cycling anyway. So it take advantage of every day you get. Sometimes like when we do those long organized rides and they're out in the middle of nowhere, it's like I wonder, cause I know a lot of cyclists, people don't like cyclists when they have these big events. Cause I know one ride I did, some random person put tax on the course and I got four flats that day, but I wonder sometimes, cause you people ride by you and they ride a little too close uh, and then they like a truck and a gap like, is it because they don't want us on the road? Is it because they don't like, like you know, so I just wonder, especially like, you know, when you, sometimes you break up in those big rides, you know, people are around. I just wonder about this being out in the middle of nowhere. But I remember my first ride, um, I decided I was gonna do a triathlon. So I said, I figured I should get serious about cycling. I didn't know anything about cycling. So I showed up, I looked at the Major Taylor schedule. They usually have it on Inventbrite. So I found a ride that matches my schedule. It was at 6 a.m. So I showed up at the ride and the ride leader was like, are you comfortable with the pace line? I'm like, I don't even know what that is. So he's like, you gonna ride with me. <laughs> So I rode with them, That I rode, the other group rode on their own and I just rode with the leader. And then I came back the other day and something happened with my pedal, it loosened or something. I looked down and it had dried, I didn't know where I was. So I turned around and just rode on the lakefront because I'm familiar. And the third day I showed up because they were like, we dropped you. One of the women was like, we're not going to leave you. We, <laughs> we got you this time. So I felt like, okay, they got me and, and they did. I learned how to actually keep up with the group 
I learned what a pace lab was. <laughs> think of women empowering other people, other women, um, particularly black women, because I think sometimes the world is so cutthroat. It's like everybody's trying to get theirs and it, it helps to have people to have your back, especially women that you can relate to and they have similar challenges. I just want to be able to continue to cycle and I just had surgery like four weeks ago, so I'm trying to get back into things. But I always want to be able to be able to like I might not be the fastest person, but I want to be able to be competitive and be able to to do what I what I can. And and I'm comp and I do too much, so I want to be able to do enough for me to be satisfied <laughs> without being bored. Hello.